What's up, guys? It's Nick and Eric from Woods and Gear. What's up, guys? It is uh, December 18th, 2015. Yeah, and uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> we can kill it. A couple days before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Eric got his uh, Christmas present a little early. So uh, that's what this short little video is about. And uh, you want to take it away? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So check this out. So check this out, guys. I know there's tons of reviews on this particular knife so that's why this is not really a review just more like making everybody jealous yeah just <laughs> showing you the popularity of this product yeah. uh, it is a BK7 from K bar nice 1095 Crovan steel that's as tactical as I want to get I'm just super excited uh, I've seen a lot of reviews on this knife uh, you can see I did a few modifications already on it um, I can't wait to actually get on the trail and use this. So you got BK7 there. So this knife has not yet had its maiden voyage. Not yet. Been dressing her up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what's what's that handle that you put on there? Is that like a tennis racket overgrip or something? This is yes, exactly what it is. Uh -huh. Tennis tennis racket grip. Um, I may switch this up in the future and go um, hockey tape just because it's already has adhesive in the back as you can see I had to put some electrical tape on it but man it's really comfortable mm. um, I also added a cool little lanyard that I could choke up on see that yeah so now it's nice and tight in my hand get up on there maybe do some detail work mm -hmm. uh, a lot of guys are putting choils right there eh, I don't find it ne necessary it feels good to me but you know Teach their own, right? Yeah. Uh, it does come with a pretty decent little sheath. I'm not going to get all geeked out on the on the knife and the sheath, but it's pretty decent. Open that up. Got another mini sheath for uh, BK13, maybe, or Remora. I'm not sure. That's cool. A uh, little pocket, maybe Altoids 10 with some survival kindling, or I might do. Um, cotton swabs soaked in Vaseline but yeah that's it just wanted to show you guys a small video of my new toy I got a couple other little things we'd like to put on on uh, video for you guys uh, not that you can't already find it online but you know this is our channel we do what we will we'll just have to wait until the next uh, little excursion before we see the, the other toys yeah we we do have a trip coming up uh, January, January 15th. Mm -hmm. Hopefully Nick and I will, will make it out here in the San Gabriel Mountains in SoCal. Got to meet up with Farrell, if anyone um, knows of him. Great content on hiking. Uh, love his videos. We'll go ahead and put a link to his channel in the description box. Um, I, I love the guy. The guy's cool, man. He, kn he knows these, these mountains back here. He does some pretty decent uh, gear reviews and a lot of a lot of things I purchased because of him. Um, we do have a through night flashlight we want to uh, put in as a review. It's a what did I tell you it was? Uh, it's a through night TN12, yeah. 2016 model. Um, again, that's another thing that's highly reviewed, but great light. But we actually want to get some use use on these products. So that light would have come in handy with our little Bighorn Mine excursion uh, totally. the other week. Absolutely. So. Uh, Stay tuned, guys. We'll, we'll put this thing in action, hopefully get some footage of uh, a little bit of abuse on the wood that we put it through. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we want feedback from people. And uh, thanks for watching. All right, guys. Until next time. Take care.